Welcome to Movie Shortens. Follow us today to a 2006 American family comedy film called The Shaggy Dog. Before we start, be aware, there are spoilers. Our movie begins with a helicopter swooping over the mountains of Tibet, looking for a dog in a picture. Its name is Kiyang Po, which means dog of ageless wonder. The photograph is 80 years old, and the troops are surprised to learn that the dog is still alive. In a monastery, the monks are chanting with the sheepdog. A child walks in with a ball, and the dog goes to play. Outside, he is captured by the troops. In America, a bulldog is relieving itself in Dave's yard. Baxter, Dave's neighbor, accuses him of hating dogs. On the TV, a guy named Forrester appears, who has been accused of arson in a dispute over animal testing. Dave is the prosecutor in the case against him. Dave's wife, Rebecca, has to remind him to attend his son, Josh's parent-teacher evening. Josh comes in for breakfast, followed by his daughter, Carly. She is wearing a t-shirt, supporting Forrester, who is her teacher, and Dave is not happy about it. Her boyfriend, Trey, arrives and the kids leave for school. Dave opens the trial by telling the jury that the company is trying to cure many illnesses and the fire could have killed people. He is congratulated outside by Kim and meets Dr. Kozak, who hears that Dave could be the new district attorney. Dr. Kozak meets with his boss, Strickland, who asks him if he's figured out how the dog has lived for so long. Kozak explains that contrary to the norm, this dog ages one year for every seven years that pass. This dog is currently over 300 years old. The scientists plan to isolate the gene and transplant it into a human body in order to prolong human life. So far, their experiments on animals have had unexpected side effects. Outside, there is a protest against the animal testing. Dave notices that Carly and Trey are present and orders them to go home. Inside the lab, a scientist takes a blood sample from the dog, but it grabs a syringe of blood and runs away with it. Carly and Trey decide to break into the building and bump into the escaping dog. They take it with them and plan to show him to the media, although Carly soon realizes that there is no proof that he came from the lab. The scientists are in trouble for losing the dog. Dave arrives home after having missed the parent-teacher meeting. He is angry that there is a dog there, which they have named Shaggy. When he tries to remove it, the dog bites him. Dave has the dog sent to the pound. Later, Rebecca tells him that Josh is flunking math, and Dave tells her that Josh knows that he is not allowed to play football unless he passes math. She accuses him of not taking an interest in the family, and he apologizes and promises to make it up to them. However, Dave is starting to act peculiar. He can hear much better and smells amazing odors in the kitchen. Then, he starts eating like a dog. Outside, he chases Baxter's dog away before hanging his head out of the car window as he drives to work. In the trial, Dr. Kozak is giving evidence, but Dave's canine behavior gets him into trouble. The judge threatens to hold him in contempt of court and they go for a recess. In the bathroom, he realizes that something is wrong, so he heads to the pound to see Shaggy. Shaggy is in a cage and Dave accuses him of biting him on purpose. Dave starts to shout at the other dogs. Suddenly, Dave transforms into another sheepdog. The guard enters and tries to catch him, but Dave runs outside. Meanwhile, the scientists arrive at the shelter and retrieve Shaggy. Dave realizes that he has turned into a dog and runs home. The kids think that it's Shaggy. He realizes that they don't understand him and tries to spell out words using Scrabble tiles. They hurriedly clean them up without noticing what he's trying to do. A car horn sounds, and Carly tells Josh that she is going to get a tattoo. Dave runs outside and scares away the driver. Carly is freaked out and wants to take the dog back to the pound, but instead, Josh takes him to the dog park. Josh talks to his friend, who asks why he wasn't at the audition for the musical today. Shaggy is back at the lab in a cage. Dave's family are wondering where he has got to. Dave runs to the computer and tries to type out some words, but Carly stops him. 
The dog then puts on Dave's glasses in the hope that they will recognize him. Dave is put in the garage to sleep. During the night, he changes back into a man. He goes into the bedroom and Rebecca yells at him for being so late. He tries to explain what happened, but she kicks him out of the room. Ken is not impressed with Dave's behavior in court yesterday, but Dave assures him that everything is okay today. Forrester is in court disputing that he started the fire. He states that he witnessed animal experimentation in the lab and saw a monkey acting like a dog amongst other hybrids. This piques Dave's interest. Dr. Kozak watches on from the gallery as Forrester describes Shaggy. Josh's parents are talking with his math teacher. Dave blames himself for not spending enough time at home, but is distracted by a cat outside and chases it across the road and through the neighbor's yards. Baxter nearly runs Dave down during the chase. Dave nearly catches the cat before transforming back into the dog. Suddenly, animal control captures both the cat and Dave. In the lab, the scientists think that they have finally cracked it. Dr. Kozak is thrilled and takes credit for the discovery. He goes to tell Strickland, who plans to have the serum injected into his blood to heal his degenerated body. The kids arrive at the pound to rescue Dave. Josh takes him to the football game, but doesn't really want to play. Josh is awful, and some bad friends call him a loser. Josh admits to his friend that he only plays football because his dad wants him to. He flung math on purpose because of his dad's ultimatum, but he didn't follow through. Josh now feels that he has to flunk other subjects to make it happen. Josh's friend tells him that he should just tell his father the truth and that he wants to be in the musical, but Josh thinks his father will be disappointed. Dave can't believe what he's hearing. Back at home, Trey is in Carly's bedroom. Dave sees a leaflet highlighting the protest that Carly has produced and is really impressed with her work. Carly tells Trey to imagine what would have happened if they hadn't stolen Shaggy from the lab. Dave is shocked to hear that they stole Shaggy and starts to bark. Trey removes him from the room. Josh appears singing and Dave is impressed. Josh mentions that his parents are out for dinner and Dave suddenly remembers their anniversary dinner. Dave goes to the restaurant with flowers, but is not allowed in. Rebecca sees him outside and drives home with the dog. On the way home, she leaves a message for Dave expressing her concern for their relationship. Later, Dave transforms back into a man and goes to Ken's house asking for a warrant to search the lab as he believes that Forrester was framed. Ken tells Dave that he is off of the case. Dave goes to the lab but can't get inside. He figures out how to change into the dog and is able to squeeze through the bars of the gate. Inside the lab, Strickland is injected with the serum he starts to writhe around uncontrollably, but Kozak reveals that he has instead swapped the serums and injected Strickland with the substance that will make him act like a vegetable for many months. In the meantime, Kozak will move to become CEO of the company. The scientists are promised a cut, and so they agree to keep quiet. Dave is watching from above and tries to leave, but is noticed by Kozak. The scientists watch the security cameras and see footage of Dave's transformation. Kozak destroys the footage. Next morning, when Dave returns home, Carly has convinced herself that her parents are separating. She explains her reasoning to her brother as Dave listens in. Dave grabs the Scrabble tiles and spells out, I am dad. He goes on to explain what has happened and Carly reaches down to hug her father. Josh talks to his father about the football game and Dave manages to explain to his son that he should audition for the musical. He also gives him a math book to explain the deal. Dave rushes outside the fight with Baxter's dog, but he is apprehended by the scientist. Kozak plans to dissect Dave, but Dave bites him on the finger. As they head upstairs, Kozak starts to exhibit dog-like behaviors. Dave communicates with Shaggy, who explains that he should meditate in order to change back into a human. This he does, but he is still locked in the cage. The animals all work together to get the keys and Dave is freed. Dave releases all the animals into the air vent and they manage to escape, but Dave is tasered by the scientist. The kids arrive and collect Shaggy, thinking that it's their father. 
Shaggy barks to explain, but they don't understand. Dave is put back inside a cage, but is rescued by the animals. The kids go to see their mother and explain that the dog is their dad. Unexpectedly, Dave calls Rebecca and tries to explain what is happening. He arranges to meet them all at the courthouse. Dave gets caught in a traffic jam, so has to go to the courthouse on foot. As he runs, he transforms into the dog. Dave runs up the steps to join his family. He tells Rebecca that he loves her and changes back into a man. Dave enters the courtroom and speaks with Ken. He begs to return to the case as Kozak tries to leave the room. Kozak has recalled to the stand and Dave asks him about the substance trials. Dave angers Kozak by telling him that it must be an honor for him to work in Strickland's shadow. Kozak responds by growling. Dave explains what Kozak has done, but the judge replies that it is not Kozak that is on trial and has Dave removed from the room. Dave re-enters and throws a stick which Kozak retrieves. Everyone is astounded and suddenly Kozak grows a tail. The judge has Kozak taken into custody. Outside, the reporters want to speak to Dave, but he joins his family instead and apologizes to them for his poor behavior. The family takes a holiday together. Shaggy joins him where he surfs the waves. Josh throws a frisbee and Dave runs to catch it. Like and subscribe to watch more videos like this. And don't forget to turn on your notifications. That really helps my channel. Thanks for watching.